This is derivative 6, and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, what happens when we front uh, trig functions. So, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up between two uh, categories. One, you'll have the trig function. And then you'll have the derivative. Now, I'm actually not going to prove to you every single one of these. I'm just going to show you the result, and then in the following movie, we're going to support it with some examples. So, the first function is uh, the simplest, y equals sine of x. And when they punched it through, through the uh, definition, they got it simply y prime is equal to cosine of x. When we touch on y equals cosine of x, the derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. y equals tangent of x the derivative of tangent of x is equal to secant squared of x y equals cosecant of x the der derivative oops, just one derivative is equal to negative cosecant of x cotangent of x y equals secant of x you push that through the derivative of it is equal to secant of x times tangent of x. Notice the pattern between these two. And then finally, y equals cotangent of x. That results in negative cosecant squared of x. Now I know this all looks really complicated, um, but remember that this may seem like uh, it's just memorizing, but when you are putting it in face of maybe the product rule, where you may have y equals sine x times cosine x, you can actually still do the breakdown. And you just use this little table I've done above to make your life easier. negative sine of x. And then basically when you have you can use your product rule just the same way you did before. Y prime is equal to f prime g plus uh, f g prime. So that equals cosine x times g which is cosine x plus sine of x negative sine x and you can kind of tell that this turns out to be cosine squared x or minus sine squared x and you can simplify that out if you wanted to make that a little bit more pretty but I'll let you do that. I just wanted to show you that even though these are strict functions, all the previous rules still apply. It just looks a little bit more messy. But I'll give you some examples in the uh, following video. Have a good one.